to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and I'm back with another Soul Flexion this Monday. Hopefully it doesn't go up late, but hopefully it's Monday, y'all. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about codependency. This is a very important topic. I don't feel like it's touched on as much as it should be touched on because this can affect both romantic and non-romantic relationships, and it's super important to talk about. Um, so today, this is what I'm going to be speaking about. But yeah, y'all, I got some new here. I got some bundles. I made a unit. So this is going to be my protective style for the next couple of months, two months and a half, I bet. Or I don't know, however long I deal with it and I can dye it, change it up. So this will be my protective spot style for a couple of months. Um, but I hope that you guys like this video. If you're interested in that topic, definitely stay tuned. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me at Soul Style Beauty. And let's get into that video. Okay, so where does codependency come from? I feel like it can come from literally a number of places. So it can come from family dynamic. So when I think of the family dynamic aspect, it's kind of like you grew up and you felt like love wasn't at home. So you kind of was operating out of a lack or out of loneliness and you got into a unhealthy relationship and end up being very codependent because of that lack. Um, it can come from the media and the movies. You then internalize this expectation that someone will fill every aspect of your cup. Or it can just come from like an unhealthy relationship that you have with yourself. You may feel like you're not enough and you feel insecure, therefore you're once again operating out of a lack, expecting a person to fill every ounce of your cup. And it's just super unhealthy. And yeah, like I had my own codependent moment when I was younger. Um, and after that, like after I realized, you know, the relationship ended and I was very, just empty as a person. I didn't even know who I was. I didn't know what my hobbies were. And I took a solo trip. So I had my little eat, pray, love moments, y'all. And I traveled solo to London. My mom actually thought I was going to commit suicide. And I'm like, would I pay over $1,000 to go to London to jump off a bridge? I can do that in New York. <laughs> like, honestly, come on now. It was crazy. My mom just, she thought I was like in a crazy state of mind which I wasn't. I just wanted to kind of take this trip for self-discovery. So I did travel to London and I'll link videos down below of young Imari traveling to London solo. Um, and I did this just because of self-discovery. Like I said, I didn't really have a great relationship with myself, um, which then led me into unhealthy relationships romantically and non-romantically. It just happens when you operate from a state of loneliness, a state of lack within yourself, and you're expecting somebody else to fill your cup. So yeah, this is what we're gonna be talking about today. So I have about, let me see, I have some notes on my phone. Um, I have about one, two, three, four, five. Yes, Imari with the notes of how to overcome codependency. Okay, so let's get into number one. Okay, so number one, you definitely want to change the mindset. So if I'm feeling like low about myself, if I'm operating off of like loneliness and lack, then obviously I'm going to be acting out of those feelings or operating out of those feelings. So I think that when you operate out of those feelings, like you're kind of looking for someone to fix a problem. So define love for yourself, self-love, define God's love, and try to just start there with a healthy relationship with yourself, with a healthy relationship with God, and, and take it slow. Like don't rush it. Make sure that you're kind of like stable with it. It's so important because like I said, then you'll put on the expectation to another person and that's not fair. All right, so number two, you need to learn how to be alone. So when you get in a relationship, you don't want someone to kind of like, you know how they say better half? Like, you know, you wanna show up as a whole person. It's not like a better half. Like nobody's a better half to me. Jose is not even a better half. Like you have to make sure that you show up as a whole person. And you're probably like, what does that look like, Imari? That looks like taking yourself out on dates, doing things that you like, discovering things that you like, um, and just like journaling, a lot of self-reflection, so you know who you are. You show up as a whole person. You don't show up as, you know, someone being needy. Um, therefore, you when you get into healthy relationships, friendships, or romantic relationships, you are showing up as a whole 
person. And literally, I'm just gonna group the last three together because all I see is explore, 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 but literally explore. You wanna explore, let me see what I have here. Explore what you love about yourself. Explore hobbies. Explore what your needs are as a person. And that comes with journaling um, and just being honest with yourself. Like I said, a lot of self-reflection. Um, and it's not easy, it's a lot of hard work and it took me about like two years for my own journey, self-love journey. Um, and I used to do videos on this so you can go back and look at this journey and I'm so happy I documented it. Um, so yeah, I think that everybody should go on a journey like this and so when you get into relationships, you're not looking for someone to fix something in you because when you do that, you will be left disappointed. So I hope that this video helped you. I hope that this allows you to dig deeper and to do some reflection. Um, and until my next soul flexion next Monday, I'll see you soon.